uh, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachapadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers doing this work in truth, sincerity, and always in charity. All right, we are the brothers from the Great Millstone camp, the branch out in Des Moines. Um, hey, and his, his brothers and sisters can see we're on the road, right? We're on the way to, uh, to the Shai, you know, to the church out in Chicago to uh, observe and hold the Passover. Uh, which is a mighty complication within itself, but a hey, uh, amongst the drive, you know, as brothers is, is speaking in the spirit, and a hey, uh, what came to mind was how, how much of a blessing it is for us to be able to uh, receive and understand the things that we receive, right? Uh, brother, brother grab a stuff in the box into the bit. thirty nine twenty four. You got that? Go ahead. And make sure you speak up to Rob 39. It's first Peter 2, verse 7. It says, And to you, therefore, which believe in the way to questions, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the dead of the morning, and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them who stumble at the word, being disobedient. Right, you know, and the scriptures speak about how Yahabashah is a jinn, right? And that's exactly it. You can jump to uh, look the second chapter of Abu Shah. Hey, because that's exactly what this is, man. You know, the people come in, uh, uh, they, they, they think that this is something, how can I explain it? Something that's just obtained by studying, man. But that's not the case. Or it's something that's obtained by just listening to the lessons. No, that's not the case. The case being is that the, the Lord has to open up your spirit for you to be able to understand these things. Otherwise, you're going to be caught up. You know, it's, it, it's a trap, it's a snare, like the brother said, a stumbling block. Well, that's exactly what the spirit of our Lord, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, is. You got, you got that? Simeon blessed them. I think it's like. Uh, starts off saying Simeon bless them. Yeah, man, that's it, you know. So here you have it. Yahweh Shai himself is a stumbling block. See, people don't understand the grace. People don't understand the liberties that there is in Yahweh Shai, man. You know, not only that, but but the doctrine. The doctrine is something hard to be understood if you're not in the spirit. It's impossible to be understood if you're not in the spirit, man. That's something we were speaking about, right? Uh, uh, hey, something as simple as James 1 and 1. It says, James, an apostle... Uh, the servant of Yahweh Shah HaMashiach to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad greeting. You know, the dispersion of the Israelites. That's something that people can't understand. We were speaking about uh, hey, the 12 tribes uh, chart and high priest Ariel, right? How how, um, how all that was through the spirit and that is accurate, 100% accurate. Because here you have it, the different characteristics of these tribes fit according to where they're at and fit the people to whom those tribes and lands are associated with. But a, but a whole nigga in the world will tell you, no, that's that's not right, or, or it's going off, or whatever, man. Right? They, they, they'll say, oh, well, you're saying that if, if you're not from Jamaica, then you can't be a Benjaminite, or if you're not from, a, a, right, if you're not a, a, a you know, a West Indian, you you, you ain't a, a Benjaminite, this and that. But here you have it, like I, like I was saying, hey, you you, ha you can have a whole uh, Judah, you can have a whole Issacharite. That lives in Jamaica and he's not a Benjamin, he's a Judite. You know, because Israel, again, Israel is scattered all throughout. And we're gonna, you're going to have uh, a certain people that look like heathens that really go back to Jake. And you're going to have certain people that look like Jake and they're really heathens, man. And that's something hard for people to understand. Right, that's a stumbling block. Can you get that stumbling block? Yep, I got it right here. This is a uh, Sirach. This is Sirach chapter. I got that. Okay. This is Sirach chapter 39. This is Sirach chapter 30. It's the same one as that uh, Matthew. Yeah, but the one with the one. 
This is Ciroc Chapter 39 and verse 24. Yeah. So this is Ciroc Chapter 39 and verse 24. As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. That's it. And that and that little and that little thing, like the brother was explaining, like those are all spiritual things, but it's not a lot to you. Why? Because the spirit is not given on to you. You are not blessed. As we were speaking earlier, man. You know, blessed is your eyes. If whoever can have that bottle yep. shot hit it. This is uh the book of So like in this same Matthew chapter 13 and verse 9. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, right? And, and that precept is not speaking about anybody that has ears. You know, you, you hear certain caps. Oh yeah, you got an ear. All right, that means you you, you should hear. It. Like no, that's that's not what that means, man. <laughs> it's a spiritual ear. Exactly, spiritual ears. You got to be spiritually discerning these things. So if you can understand this in the spirit, then hey, they you know listen up. This for you. But it says, and the disciples came and said unto him. Why speakest thou into them in parables? He answered, speaking of Yahweh shot, and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. You know, that, that's, that's the part of not being able to see. Because the Lord didn't open these mysteries unto them. It says, what, uh, Amos 3 chapter? It, it is, uh, what is it? He revealed his secrets unto the servants, the prophets. Yep, yep. You know? So only his prophets, only, you know, the ones that are meant to get it on this side are going to get it, man. That's what truly, to be blessed, and real quick, I got the word yeah, well, uh, blessed well, yeah, on the well, Edomon. So I can, no, if, if I can just back you up, yeah, because the prophets were going to be the men that were going to be breaking down these prophecies, breaking down these parables. But on top of that, you're also going to have a, gr a great multitude and you're going to have the elect that, be that believe in this word, man. Yeah. You know, because, because, hey, not only are the prophets going to be, going to be able to believe, you know, but, but there's going to be certain people that are going to hear the doctrine, are going to hear the teaching of these men that is all through Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai in the Spirit, and are going to believe. Well, well, that's what it says in John. It says that believe, that believe, uh, that Another believe report. me through their word. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yep, yep, so, yep. hey, man, <laughs> this is truly being blessed. Not a lot of people talking about, I got a house, I got a car, I got the gain, I got the gain of this world, you know? And fuck all that, man. This here ain't shit. This is all about to vanish and perish. It's gonna be a day that that melt is, uh, what is it, as a, as a uh, Malachi 4. The day that uh, burn into oven, the water, bro. All this shit is gonna be burnt, man. You know, what matter of person ought you to be with all uh, holy conversation and godliness? This is the holy conversation we're supposed to have, man. Right? This is the only way to get out of here. That's truly being blessed. And and going back to real, real quick, it's the etymon, the word blessed is supremely happy. Right, <laughs> that we're we're happy. Why? Because we're being back and reconciled back to the Lord. Bless, right. Bless. This is the ministry of reconciliation. You know, oh happy or uh, oh Israel, oh happy they are. How happy are we? You know, for the things we, that are pleasing unto the Lord are made known unto us. And that's the point, man. That's the truth of being blessed, right? And it says, also consecrated, holy. Ooh. Right. So that that's what makes us blessed. Is being separate from this world and understanding yeah. and seeing the things of the word and be like, you know what? Like, I'm not going to do that, man. Yeah. I'm not going to do that. Why? Because the Lord has revealed his secrets onto it to let us know, hey, depart from this world. There's nothing but wickedness here and coming to my ways, man. Well, hey, consecrated, uh, uh, separate, like that said. Hey, and holy, that's a, that, yeah, holy. Yeah. That's a clear distinction. As the, as the scriptures say, be ye separate, you know? Because uh -huh. uh, uh, there's a certain group of people a certain particular amount of souls that are upon this earth that the Lord hath consecrated, He has separated. Yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll yeah. grab that if, if you can. You know, because there's a particular group of people that the Lord had consecrated, He had blessed, right? We're synonymous. He had, he had chosen to be a holy people unto Himself. It speaks about the Israel of God, right? And there's a clear distinction right here. I'm going to read it again. This is St. Matthew chapter 13. And verse 10, and the disciples came and said unto him, why speakest thou unto them in parables? Speaking about the multitude, right? Many people. He answered and said, because it is given unto you. Separation. That's the separation. <laughs> why, why was it given unto those men? Because they were consecrated. 
that were separated from the from, uh, 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 yeah I was sure I spoke about it right it's, he said uh, I have lost none but it's lucky <laughs> yeah I'm always lucky because it said uh, uh, they they were uh, they were yours basically roughly paraphrasing uh, they are thine gave, yeah they are they thine that has gave them unto me you know and I have lost none so here you have it it's it's it's, a, it's it was already set apart from the beginning of the world man Okay. And that's another that's another stumbling block on these people. They don't understand that. Yep. <laughs> like they 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 think that uh, some people are proud enough to be like, you know what? If I do these things, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna do this. And first of all, like the brother was speaking out in the morning, in the morning, in the beginning of this lesson. First of all, the spirit has to be given on to you, man. Right? You can't pick up because every anybody can pick up the Bible, but if you don't got the spirit upon you, you're not gonna understand what's written, man. So, you can't pay for it. What, what, who will try to pay for it? I think uh, Simeon. Yeah, Simeon. He tried to pay for it, right? He tried to pay. Oh, oh, you know, how much can I give you for the Holy Spirit? You can't buy this thing, man. It's it's a gift given to you. Uh, what, uh, what is it? Uh, Ephesians two and eight, right? This faith is given from heaven, man. This is the uh, this is the eye opener, I should say, right? Yep. So I'm gonna read this part again, and you can grab that word. Uh, verse eleven. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven but unto them it is not given all right i got this greek word for mystery right it says mysteria it says hidden secret mystery generally mysteries religious secrets confided only to the initiated Ooh. and not to ordinary mortals there you have it only to the initiated not unto ordinary mortals so these people and get, get the uh, etymology for initiated you know, so these people that are able to receive it are not your average, like they say in the world, he's not your average Joe, <laughs> right? These are special souls, man. Precious souls in the eyes of Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai. This is the uh, etymology for initiate. It says, one who has been initiated in secret doctrines from, obs right, from obsolete or archaic past participles. It says, instructed in secret knowledge. There you have it, instructed in secret knowledge. And the secret knowledge is what? These scriptures, man. This is the knowledge. This is the truth. <laughs> exactly, because I mean, the, a lot of people, it's secret It's secret to who? To them that don't have the ears or the eyes to see, man. Yeah. Right? Because ultimately the Lord is only dealing with the few on this side. Yeah. The Lord is not about the multitude like we read in that uh, Matthew, right? It, it is not given unto them, but unto you it is given. Right unto um, you, I opened your eyes so you can see them. Yeah, man. Right, because hey, uh, I know you you were talking about getting Isaiah the sixth chapter. Okay, Khan, go ahead. Yeah, yeah hey, uh, just to point out too, hey, uh, again, it's a blessing, man. It's very few. What the spirit made me think about right now is, hey, out of all the people, out of all the souls that are upon the earth, how many people are congregating right now, are getting together, spirit, are, are getting ready to, to observe the Lord's Passover, man? That's it. To sit there and uh, and have this. Feast of solemnity, you know, sit and meditate upon the sufferings of our Lord, the exodus out of Egypt, Yahweh Shai going up upon the cross for our sins, man, uh, uh, holding the feast of unleavened bread in, in, in memorial of these things. Who, who's all doing that, man? Yet you have certain souls that, that the Lord put the spirit on the on these men and women, you know, to, to, to do these things. There's very, very few, and as the scripture said, uh, uh, this world is made for many, but the world to come for very few, man. So yes, it's truly a privilege and it's a blessing. It's a joy <laughs> to be able to do this. Right, and that's another point as well. I mean, shit, like anybody could come, you know what I'm saying? Come and motherfucking uh, do whatever they want in Chicago. But like the brother said, man, the few men that are here in Chicago, in Chicago camp, and us joining on to them, hey, we're going to actually celebrate the Passover, man. That's heavy. Right? Because anybody, bro, somebody will come to Chicago and party the hell out. Do some other bullshit, right? I can't see on the side. Like, you know, and, and party and do bullshit. But hey, man, we, we got the eyes to be uh, observant, man. And to know the times, because this is a time. And there's a blessing to know that this is the time of the Passover. Right? Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, it's like. It's uh, 2 Ezra 8, 62. Says, these things have I not shown unto all men, but unto you, and a few like, like you. Like you. Like you. Like you. Yeah, that's exactly it. It's very few, man. You know, it, it's it's honestly, it's truly a very few amount that that are sincerely serving the Lord. 
like the brother said, hey, not even in Chicago, but look at look at look at the church in Des Moines, right? Us brothers in Des Moines, there is how many of us is there? Twelve, I think. There's eleven, twelve of us, man. And the, 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 out of the whole, no, not even just Des Moines, out of Iowa, yeah. out of all Iowa, <laughs> you know, it's 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 these few brothers. In Chicago, it's it's few brothers, man. You go to Dallas, it's few brothers. Uh, compared to the whole state, yeah. Man. You got cities that are populated in the millions, man. And there could be a camp of four men, six, seven men, you know? Two. Isaiah 6, in verse 9, it says, And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, oh, but perceive not, make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy. And shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert them to heal. Right, and if you read up, and read up, it tells you that there's an angel doing that. And they say, angel going and blocking the, the minds of these people. Right, and Yahweh Shai, I believe Yahweh Shai quoted it as well in the, in the New Testament. He's, uh, he yeah, quoted that's it. What, that's what we're going to read. Oh, okay, God, God, yeah. you, you haven't got to a con. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's that's the way that it's done. It's done through the Spirit, you know, yeah. which the Lord sends his angels to perform his will. So like the brother said, you have angels that are blocking certain people from receiving this knowledge. That's why it, it doesn't matter. You could break it down to as simplest to the compound. Uh, uh, the baby uh, can understand. You know? Yeah, like the apostle A, B, right, right. C, right? Apostle Gabar. But here you have it, as simple as you can explain it, yet it, 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 to them it doesn't make sense. They can't see it. Right, and we're, we're, we're going to read <laughs> until when it's going to be unblocked, right? Go ahead. It says, then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without men, and the land be utterly desolate. And, and when is that, man? When the nuclear missiles hit, right? So they're going to be blinded. Until guess what? Until they get reset and come back in the kingdom, man. The, only the Israelites. I should specify, right? Man, because hey, man, the, the Lord had it already like that, man. Well, yeah, I mean, I'd, right? Uh, to Israel is this word exactly. of salvation exactly. set, man. Exactly. It's only for Israel. Exactly. You know, just to back up your point, but going back, you're done with that, right? Yeah, we're done. Okay. Now. Going back to Saint Matthew chapter thirteen and verse eleven, he answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away, even that he had. Therefore, I speak unto them in parables, which a parable is, is a, a, a dark sentence, man. Uh, if, if you got that in the phone, go into the go into what that word uh, parable says, you know, just for edification's sake. Uh, yeah, you know, because it's, it's, it's a wise saying. You know, a parable is a wise saying, or something that's. That's deep. There's something hard to be understood. That's some military. You guys are doing some military. It's good. It's a spiritual degree. The blue letter. It says a placing. A placing of one thing by the side of another. A juxtaposition that shifts the battle. Similitude, man. So yeah, you know, it, it, just like when you read the, the different parables, and, and that's the crazy thing is that those parables make it easier for you to understand. Like, and when you have the knowledge, that's how you explain certain things with parables, right? With similitudes. For example, Yahweh Shah said, "Hey, the kingdom of heaven." He said, "I'm gonna make you fishers of men," right? And he said, "In the kingdom of heaven is like when you go fishing," and uh, you know, I'm obviously I'm roughly paraphrasing, but he said, "You catch a bunch of fish." And when you go through the net, you got some good fish and you got some bad fish. Well, the good fish you keep and the bad fish you toss back. So it's it's easy to be in a sense, okay, so obviously you're going to get some good fish and some bad fish, right? And and, and if we're fishers of men, then you're going to get men that are good, that, you're gonna, that are going to be kept, that are going to be stored, that are going to be uh, delivered. And you got certain men that are going to go back into the world, certain men that aren't going to get it. You, you know, the spirit tosses them out, you know, but, but again, it takes... The wisdom it takes right. uh, uh, in the first place to be able to understand those mysteries, you know. <laughs> right, and even even when uh, when Nathan went to King David, he went right. to him in a parable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> like that's another that's another form of it too, yeah, as well, man. you know. But see, you see, King David, it, it says that I shall make him of quick understanding. That's it. That's how the spirit. That's how the spirit works. So when when even with Nathan, when he said that unto King David, uh, he, he said, "My Lord, this is you." And boom, he got it. He's like, "Oh man, 
You know, he yeah, broke it down. His heart. It said it smote him. His heart smote him. <laughs> you know that, that? Yeah, he declared that unto him plainly. But you, you have it. Yeah, I was shot, bro. This, this. <laughs> did he initiate it? All right. This Isaiah fifty and four. It says, "The Lord Jehovah hath given me the tongue of the learned, Ooh. that I should know how to speak a word in season to to him that is weary. He maketh morning, he make he waketh morning by morning. He waketh my ear to hear as the learned." That's it, man. And the Lord has to give you that capability, man. No carnal way, any way, any other way, you're not going to grab it, man. You're not going to get it, man. Right? <laughs> the Lord has to give you the, the ear of the learned, man. You know, the mouth of the learned as well, you know, as, as I want to explain. Yeah. You know, did you add something else on that? Yeah, okay, going back, uh, St. Matthew oh, chapter... It says, the Lord... Call Jehovah, it up. Uh, Isaiah 55, 55, it says, the Lord Jehovah has opened my ear. I was Woo. not rebellious, neither Man. turned away back. Woo, Open the you. Lord just proved my point. Yeah. The Lord opened my ear. Yep. Right? So, hey, just to prove that point, man. You know, that's happening. That's what it takes, man. That's what it takes. Because, uh, uh, hey, it says, uh, even about Yahweh Shah, right? When you read the book of Revelation, it says, Thou were worthy to loose the seals right. in the, the seven seals that were on the book. And here you have it. The, through, through the sacrifice of the Lord is how we're able to understand these things, man. Give it to even, whom he will. Yeah. Well, even with the disciples, he said it is it is it is needful for you that I should go. Because when I go into the Father, you know, basically he's gonna send you the comforter, he shall uh, uh bring all things to your remembrance, he's gonna, you know, you know everything yeah. you shall know all things. You know, so <laughs> it's beautiful, man, it's beautiful. But uh back in St. Matthew chapter 13 and verse uh 13. Therefore I speak unto them in parables. Because they seeing not, it's like if, because they seeing, see not, and hearing, they hear not. Neither do they understand. And that's a, that's a beautiful thing because the apostles didn't understand until what? Until the Lord came unto them and, uh, and gave yeah. them those parables. With the water, yeah, because that's that's what I was trying to remember too. Yeah, man. You know, and, and after, after uh, they received the Spirit, right. uh, then they, you know, yeah, they exactly. knew everything, yep, man. Yep. They, they, they knew these things. That's it, man. Hey, hey, it's cold, bro. Hey, the Lord cold, man. Yeah. You know, the Lord himself went to explain it onto them. You know, because they, uh, I believe there was an account that they didn't know what he was saying. You know, and they were scared to ask him. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but hey, they asked him, and, hey, and they told him, and he told them, man. Yeah. You know? God, and hey, hey, again, it's all through the, it's through the scriptures, through the, through the Holy Spirit. Because, like, we were, uh, we were talking about Ezra's, right? You read the book of Ezra's, well, he didn't have the understanding. He didn't have... The understanding of Yahweh shot, right? right? That right, wisdom right. behind it. So he's asking the Lord, man, what, you know, what was me? Who shall deliver me in that day? You know, uh, basically we're through. How am I going to, you know, what are we going to do? What what good is it that there's a kingdom promise when we're, we have all sinned? But yet, as it says in Romans, the things written aforetime are written for our learning that we through uh, patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So these scriptures are written for us to obtain this knowledge, to have this wisdom, to, to have that hope in our Lord Yahweh Shad, man. It's, just, it's like the, uh, the brother Matthias said, uh, how they say in Chicago that, hey, Ezra's asked those questions so that we didn't have to. So we could read it and learn from the mistakes. Exactly. Exactly, man. You know, but um, going back, uh, Matthew chapter 13 and verse uh, 14. And in that, I'll read 13 again. Therefore, I speak to them in parables, because they seeing, see not, and they hearing, hear not. Neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which said, which the brother just read, which said, by hearing ye shall hear and not understand, and seeing ye shall see and not perceive. For this people's heart is waxed gross, and their ears are dull of hearing. But the brother read what? The Lord had opened my ear. That's it. Through his wisdom, through, through the spirit, man. So it says, their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes they have closed lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and they should understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them so here you have it the Lord doesn't even want to save everybody because if that was the case he'd make it to where everybody could understand this word and he said less so uh, so least unless they would understand this and then I would have to heal them then I would have to save them so if the Lord really, if the Lord really, the, 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 the mindset was, yeah, everybody gets salvation. Everybody's going to be saved. I want to save everybody. That's the third. Spirit. You right. get salvation. Yeah. You, you get, get a salvation. Chariot. You get a chariot. Right. You know? Yeah. 
then then he would have been like, you know what? Let me let me let me open his ears. Let me open his mind. But see, it wasn't given unto him. Those those uh, given unto them. Those souls, those different spirits that were there, a certain amount of them, they, they weren't initiated, man. They weren't chosen. They weren't predestinated. So it says they weren't made alive. That's it. So it says verse sixteen. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which you see and have not seen them and to hear those things which you hear and have not heard them. And the beautiful thing about it at the end day, at the, you know what I'm saying, the final, final showdown, we have the full totality of the scriptures now. So we can put things together. We have the full puzzle, right? Because back then, you know, they, they had some understanding, but they don't have the fullness understanding that we have now, man. Yeah, man. You know, so we see the full picture. We see the grace of Yahweh Shai, right? We see the kingdom of heaven coming, right? We have that hope. Why? Because we understand Yahweh Shai, right? Like when uh, the brother was speaking about Ezra, he didn't know, he didn't have the grace of Yahweh Shai. He, he didn't know about it, right? Because it's his time, he was before Yahweh Shai. So he didn't know, but and that Ezra still reads that my son Yahweh Shai was, sent, uh, was told, was said it by name, yep. right? That he would come with them 400 years. But he didn't understand that though, but we understand this now, man. And the Wadi Al Basimia was shot. It says, Bless your, your eyes, man. So it's blessed. Hey, man, this is deep, man. It's deep. A lot of people like to play around with this thing, man. But hey, yeah. ultimately, it's shit, bro. I don't, if I were you and whoever is playing around, bro, straighten up, man. Straight up, man, because we're coming into, we're always coming into some hard times, man. Right? Yeah. I, as I always say in my lessons, we, we always come, we always, man. Right, we always got to be prepared, and we're coming into some hard times, man. Yeah. It, it, that's that. I cannot say that enough, man. We got to get it now what we can. Oh, yeah, like the brother said, hey, uh, the the whole truth is deep, man. You know, it, the the simplest things, what we can, what we call milk, those are deep things yeah. to understand. Yeah, yeah. That if you if you are able to understand, not only are you blessed, but hey, you know a lot more than anybody here on this earth. Take a minute to, to ponder upon that and to consider that, man. If you can understand that we are Israelites, that the so-called Israelites were people of color, you know, that Yahweh Shah himself would be considered a so-called black man, that the Israelites were scattered, so on and so forth. These, these, these simple things, hey, uh, it's a whole, it's a whole nother level, man. You know, so hey, Barakat Yahweh by Shami Yahweh Shai, man. It's a blessing. <laughs> That's it. You know, and Jake can be in the flesh sometime, but hey, man, we got to always realize, as we spoke in a Saturday, you know, Wednesday at class, we got to realize that this this thing is deep, man. We got to realize that every time we break bread with brothers, hey, that's how we shine, man. And, and what he suffered for us, for us to have this knowledge, for us to be blessed, right? For us to be consecrated, holy, right? These, all these things is because of how we shine, man. And nobody else, right? But that's, hey, man, the body of Bashim al shine once again. You know, but y'all got me going. Closing precepts? No? What you? No, I'm good. You got to close up. Con, with that being said, uh, the water y'all by Shemel Shai for allowing us to do this lesson. We want to give praises to Yahweh, We want to give double honors to those apostles of great millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations to Ayuakim that there's pushing this truth and sincerity. I was in charity. Shalom. Shalom.